hey guys welcome back again so in this video we'll be adding notes through our application inside our firebase database so here inside our firebase console we have a collection called notes and we have this one document with this auto id and here we have four fields inside that document one is the completed the created and the text which is inside the note and then one is the user id and this user id is the id of the user who is creating the note and this id as you can see here that it start with btbg and if i go to the authentication tab here uh, let's uh, check this id that is btbg3 so this is the id that is the user uid i'm referencing that inside our notes collection and this id is unique for each of the individual users so that is why i am adding this id inside my notes collection here So this is the user ID, which is the user ID of an individual user. So firstly, what I'll do, I'll create a note class from which we'll be adding our notes. So here inside our Android Studio, we have this alert dialog, uh, which presents you a screen like this. That is to add the note. So firstly, let's create a note class here. So let's go here and let me create a new Java class here and let's call it note and let's click on OK. And here we have four fields that are these fields that is the completed created text and user id so let's start adding them so private string text and then the second field whether it's completed or not so private boolean that is completed the third string is the date string or here we'll be using the timestamp that firebase provides so private timestamp uh, and you should use this one here which is provided by firebase and not the others so let's use this one here so private timestamp and it should be created and then the last field that is the user id that is again a string so private string user id like this and now to make this class work with firestore what we need to do we need to create an empty constructor for this class so let's create that and let me select none here and now let's create our default constructor for this class that is with all the fields so let's select all the fields and let's click on ok and now we need to attach the getters and setters in this class so let's click here and the getters and setters and let's select all and let's click on ok and then one thing more i would like to have here and that is the two string method so let's add that too and now our note class is complete. So now what we want to do, we want to go to our main activity. And here when we show an alert dialog, what I want to do, I want to add that note. I want to add the note which the user has created using this alert dialog. So let's create that method here. That is private void add note. And this will take one, uh, one parameter that is a string, that is the note string. So it should be text. And now let's call this method from inside the on click method here and let's call this method add note and it should be note edit text dot get text dot to string and now here inside our add note method here so firstly let's create a note so note note equal to new note the first argument is the text of the note so let's provide the text the second argument is whether it's completed or not so it's always false since the note is not completed and then the timestamp so we can get the timestamp like this new timestamp and here it takes one argument that is the new date like this and then we need to provide in the user id so how can we get the user id so it is very simple so let me create a string here so a string user id equal to firebase or dot get instance dot get current user dot get uid and this will provide us the id of the current user and i know that this uh, current user will not be null because if it is null then since we are implemented this auth state listener here at the bottom of our activity so whenever the current user is null then we won't be inside this activity and we are already inside our login activity so there is no use of checking this uh, current user to be null and we are sure that the current user is not null and we can get the user id from here itself and now we need to add this note to our notes collection so that is again very simple so firebase firestore dot get instance and then we need to target the collection 
the collection is the notes collection in which we want to add and then we want to add this object that is the note object like this and then we want to add the complete listener or if you prefer using the success or failure listeners so let's use the success and failure listeners so add success listener new on success listener and then the add on failure listener new on failure listener and if it is failed for some reason what you can do we can show a toast here and the text would be e dot get localized message and that will be all and then if it's success adding the uh, note then let's log it inside the console so successfully added the note and now let's run this application and let's see if we are able to add the notes so here let me open my firebase console so we can see that if we are able to add the notes so here let me click on this button here and let me write something here that watch all imdb movies and let me click on add and we saw here that this note was added and it has these four fields that is it's completed is false the text is watch all imdb movies and the current user id is this id that is GC gcr 3k and as you can see here that's this user id is referencing this user here that is bluepanther.xyz.com and let's go back to our database again and now since we are storing all the notes inside one collection so later in the series we can filter the notes by using this user id because these individual notes can be referenced using this user id so let's try adding one more note so this time watch iron man again and let me add it and this note is added here and these two notes have the same user id because they are created by the same user and as you can see here it is gcr and again it is gcr and this note is created by another user that has a user as id starting with btb so in the next video what we are going to do that we are going to display all the notes created by this user here and we'll display them inside this recycler view here which is not visible right now because it has not been set up and we are going to set up our recycler view using the firestore recycler adapter and not the default recycler adapter